So I was recently working on a freelance gig where I was creating various grids of icons and shapes, and I did this by using repeaters on shape layers. Now for this particular project, I needed to create grids that were perfectly centered in the composition, and I needed them to be able to expand both horizontally and vertically from the center. Not only that, I needed them to be symmetrical. So if you've worked with repeaters before, you know they can be a little bit clunky when you wanna center things up or keep things symmetrical. However, you can actually accomplish this via a simple expression on your repeater. So let me show you how this works. All right, so I need to create my first initial shape that I can then repeat to create a grid. So let's use a simple rectangle as an example. I'm gonna go grab the rectangle tool. I have the fill set to the solid white and I have the stroke turned off. Now I'm gonna double click here to create a shape that perfectly matches the boundaries of my comp, which happens to be a square. So this actually isn't even a rectangle. Now I'm gonna click Hold shift and just bring this way down. So I have the new shape layer. I'm gonna rename it grid one. And to add a repeater, you see this little add button here. You can click on this and select repeater. Just be sure that you don't have the shape group of the rectangle selected here. Otherwise it's gonna add the repeater inside here and you're not gonna get the results that you want. So to deselect that, just simply grab the layer again. Now click add repeater. Now open this up, you can see we have copies, offset, composite, and then some transformation properties. Now the default here is a position of X 100. That's why it's repeating off to the right here. That's because we have a positive X value of our position. As I increase this, these spread out to the right. As I decrease it, they come back here. So if I increase the number of copies, those are gonna expand out to the right. So I could quickly create some you know, rows here if I wanted to create like a quick infographic, that's cool. But as I mentioned before, for this client, I wanted to create grids that expand it out from the center. Now to have this centered up, you have to adjust the offset here. So if I had the initial three copies here, to center this up, we wanna offset it by negative one. So I can manually come over here, type in negative one. Now I have a perfectly centered up and symmetrical little repeater here. If I increase the position now, this is nicely expanding out from the center. However, if I increase the copies, we have a problem. Now they're also expanding off to the right again. That's due to the fact that our offset is only set to negative one. The key here is to connect the offset to the copies and have it automatically adjust. So as I change the number of copies, the offset will auto adjust to keep it centered. So the magic expression works like this. You simply grab the property pick width of offset, connect it to copies. So now they're going to be set to the same here. Open up this and then go to the end of this little expression here and just type in minus one. Now we wanna put these in parentheses here so that it's gonna take the number of copies and subtract one. After it does that, we wanna then divide it by negative two. Now we have a perfectly symmetrical row here. If I decrease the position, you can see it's working from the center. Now as I decrease and increase the copies, you can see it's reacting the way I want it to react. Okay, so we have our row. Now how do we get columns? To do that, we simply repeat our repeater. So now we wanna repeat this row. So to do that, deselect these again, just grab the layer, make sure you don't have any of these groups selected, click add, repeater, and now we have a repeater for our repeater. Open up the transformation options of this repeater, and we don't want to change the X position, so we're gonna set this to zero. Now we wanna adjust the Y position. In the positive, it goes down, in the negative, it goes up. So to center this up, we do the same thing. We grab the offset, connect it to the copies, open this up, minus one, put this in parentheses, so it does this equation first, and then it divides that number by negative two. Now, bada bing, we have vertical. So you can actually rename these repeaters if you want. You can call this one vertical, and you can call this one horizontal. Okay, now I have this grid. To make it symmetrical, I'm gonna go grab the layer and search for the keyword copies. And for horizontal and vertical, I just need to make these the same. So I'm gonna set vertical to 12, which is what horizontal is already at. And then I'll go search for the keyword position and then scroll down and here you can see horizontal is set to 125, vertical is at 147. So I just need to simply match these up as well. So this is now 125 and you can see now I have a perfectly symmetrical square grid that is expanding out from the center. Very, very cool. Now the only problem is if I wanna animate this, it can be a little clunky because I have to dive down here into all of these different shape groups and repeater transformation property groups 
and I have to animate all of these together if I want it to be perfectly symmetrical. So when I first encountered this problem, I decided to go ahead and set up an animation preset. And this is where I went through and created some expressions and connected everything together. This animation preset is gonna be available for download over on my Patreon page. Now, if you're not a patron and you still wanna pick this up, I'll leave a link down in the video description where you can get it for a small fee. Now, let's take a look at how this thing works. So it's called BLV Centered Grid for Shape Layers. Once you download it, drag it over to your user presets folder. Once you're inside of After Effects, go to Window and select Effects and Presets. And you can go ahead and click on the panel menu and refresh if you've already got it open. And that will populate this new animation preset once you have it installed in your user presets subfolder. Okay, so in this project, I have this basic little shape layer of the plane here. So let's say we're making an infographic of this one. We want to create a little symmetrical centered grid here. So this can be anywhere in the composition here. I'm gonna to go to animation presets, go to user presets, and then here right at the top we can see it and simply double click on it. And now we have this grid. So let me go ahead and align this. I'm gonna center this and now we can actually scale the layer down. You can see here is the grid. Now, if you're actually scaling the layer, it's gonna scale the whole grid. If you double click and grab the shape group and scale that down, it's gonna scale this. And you can actually rotate this as well. Do whatever you wanna do. Oh, I just rotated the layer. But if you double click and rotate the shape group, you see it rotates all of the repeated ones. So if we look over here at the effect controls panel, you can see all of the different parameters here. You have gap which controls a symmetrical gap. Let me go ahead and bring the size of this down. So gap is just the gap between all of the different repeated icons. You have number of copies here. And down here, these four parameters are just all of the offset. So if you don't want it to be perfectly symmetrical, you can offset these parameters. So you have the X gap, which is the width offset. You have the Y gap, and then you also have copies offset. So if you want more copies on your x-axis, you can do that. If you want more copies on y, you can do that, or you can crank it down, whatever you wanna do. And this allows you to quickly animate this. So if I go ahead and undo all of these, we can go back to our normal grid here. All you need to do is add a little keyframe here, go to you, bring this out, and then bring this back down to zero, and now you see how easy it is to animate this. So now we can come through here, and just go animation, keyframe assistant, easy ease, and then add a little speed graph change here. And now you've got a cool little infographic. Boom. Pretty cool. Also be aware that this works for shape layers. That's why I named it for shape layers, because repeaters only work on shape layers. So if you're new to After Effects, you might be unaware of this fact. So here, for example, is a vector graphic. If I drag this down, this is an EPS file and it's just this airplane here. So what I need to do is turn this into a shape layer and you can do that by right clicking and then go to create. And then right over here it says create shapes from vector layer. And now it du creates this duplicate which is actually a shape layer. So I can delete the original vector and now we have this and I can scale this down and then once again go back to my effects and presets panel and double click on my animation preset. And now I've got this cool graphic here. Oh, you also want to be sure before you start tweaking these parameters that it automatically has all of them selected. So you need to deselect and then you can change the gap here. And now I have this perfect grid of airplanes. Woohoo! Big shout out to my tier three patrons for making this video possible. Thank you all so much. It's very appreciated. Speaking of Patreon, I just released a new exclusive tutorial over there for my tier two and tier three patrons that's all about how to create map visuals using shape layers and repeaters. It's super fun. Go check it out.